how do you feel about tonight's occasion? What does this mean to you? You know, it has been um, a pleasure and an honor to sort of take the helm of this league and to be here on the 15th anniversary uh, and celebrate that with the likes of uh, Lisa Leslie and many others who have come tonight is very, very special. And you know, my goal now is to really think about what is it that I can do and contribute to the league to make sure that we're having another celebration uh, 15 years from now. Uh, I think it is a testament to the quality of play that at halftime we have a score of 53-53 that says we've got um, a viable, thriving, competitive game and a really wonderful fan experience. So um, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Last question. Um, seeing how the WNBA has been thriving, um, how likely and when can we see a WNBA All-Star game in Los Angeles, the second largest yes. market? Oh, you put me on the hot seat with that one. I cannot make any promises. Uh, duly noted that you would like to have one here. We are on the West Coast this year uh, in San Antonio, so I would say we're moving our way across country, so stay tuned. Commissioner Ritchie, you're just taking control and going into the helm now. Uh, the short-term strategic marketing, anything that you can say towards the diversity of media attracting even more Hispanic fans in, in some of the cities in the, in the NBA now? You know, I had a really interesting meeting today um, with the owners here in L.A. about uh, the importance of the Hispanic community. And I believe that the women of the WNBA are role models for all young girls and young boys. So. I'm hoping that as we grow the league and increase our fan base, we do it in a way that reflects the populations of the communities that we serve and the communities where we're present. So um, that is absolutely a focus and a priority. Okay, and finally, the, uh, uh, the marketing concepts towards uh, the entire country. Your thoughts on the strategic plan? You know, I am in month two, so I would say I'm still in listening and learning mode. The one thing I do know is the women of this league are amazing women. They are amazing athletes, they're amazing competitors, and so as I spend time with them, I think one of the greatest marketing assets we have is our players. And so uh, whatever the ultimate plan looks like, the players will be at the center of that, really shining a light on them and their abilities. Which is possible. Okay.